Hello, Jamin. Hey, Julia. Let's make this voiceover together. Yeah, good idea. You start. Okay. Radiation is, according to Google, the emission of energy as electromagnetic waves or as moving subatomic particles. There are three types of radiation alpha and beta, which are particles, and gamma, which is a wave. It is only in the past 100 years that we have understood that atoms can change spontaneously from one to another. Carbon can suddenly lose an electron and become nitrogen. Because a neutron will spontaneously change into a proton when it does that, it gives off a fast-moving electron out of the nucleus. This process is called radioactivity, and the shooting electrons are called beta particles. An alpha particle is two neutrons and two protons stuck together, also known as a helium nucleus. This is 8,000 times more massive than a beta particle, therefore slower, and can only travel a few centimeters in air. So when an alpha particle is emitted, the atom changes into an atom with two less protons. Beta particles can travel much further through things than alpha particles. Note, particle radiation is only caused by nuclear reactions. Then, there is the wave kind of radiation, which includes all of the electromagnetic spectrum, from low-frequency radio to microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet, x-ray, and to gamma ray. Only starting from UV upwards is the radiation ionizing where the bad thing starts, causing cancer and stuff. Ionization works by radiation knocking electrons out of the atom, making it charged and ionized. Gamma radiation is a thousand times more energetic than visible light, and it can pass straight through a human body. Gamma radiation can ironically kill cancer cells and germs. My turn. Okay. The more massive and fast radiation is, the more damage it can do and ionize an atom. So, gamma rays at weakest and alpha particles at strongest. But alpha rays are the worst in penetrating, but gamma the best. And yes, the cause of cancer is ionizing damage to the DNA. So when people are worried about a nuclear fallout, they are worried about radiation that will kill us. But in fact, the particle radiation, which makes up most of the radiation in a nuclear power plant, cannot travel far through air, only a few centimeters. So what is the problem? Well, actually, we're not afraid of the particle radiation itself, because they cannot travel that far, but we are afraid of the radioactive atoms, because they can travel far, be carried by the wind, and we can inhale it, and it can get in contact with us easily. Then, when these radioactive particles are in our bodies, it can do as much damage as it wants. But remember, radiation is not all bad. It is the reason why we can see, have x-ray machines, get heat from the sun, have cell phones, internet, and basically everything. So don't be afraid, but instead, embrace the awesomeness of the thing we call radiation.